a work in progress because I'm archiving, so don't mind the mess, but I've tried to take all the newspaper clippings, all the photographs, tour books from all the past. Hey, I'm Fred, the Camp Saren in New Jersey. I like collecting records and exploring the cave of the unknown. Just trying to keep archive things. So some posters and then all these newspaper articles that I kept. The Athens Banner Herald, that's the paper I worked on. Before the band started, there was a Mardi Gras parade. And the only ones that showed up were us and a couple of friends. So that's me and Keith and Ricky and we were the whole parade. It was like, oh, the Mardi Gras parade was, it's us and that's all. We had sort of jobs. I was a paste-up artist on the local newspaper. So I worked there at night, and Keith and Ricky worked at the bus station because Keith's parents ran the bus station, the local bus station. And uh, Fred worked at the health food restaurant as a waiter. And Cindy worked for a little while at the Whirly Q, which is a luncheonette counter. And she would, like, serve, you know, coffee with light. She'd make whipped cream, like really high whipped cream. This is where we sort of started out. We used to practice back there in the bloodletting room. There used to be a funeral home over there. That's where we practiced, and this is where we ate every day. And Fred worked here. He was a waiter. Fred used to wear I remember one time I came in here to eat, and he had on these spandex leopard skin pants with bell bottoms with sort of big elephant bells. One day, once upon a time, we hung out together in Athens, Georgia. Everyone in the band just went to parties together. and We crashed parties for free beer, and we wore wigs on our heads and just kind of dressed up crazy and had the general uh, ability to drive people off the dance floor when we hit the dance floor, because we'd dance crazy, you know, and flail around, and people would just back up. One time I brought this hose out from outside into the house and sprayed it around inside. We would walk in and say, who invited them? Ah! So one night we didn't have enough money for food. <clears throat> we went to this Chinese restaurant called Hunan's in Athens, and we had ordered a flaming volcano in this big kava bowl. And there was, you know, smoke coming out of it and tiki, it's like a tiki drink, rum, I guess. And there were six straws, and there were the five of us that were original band and our friend Owen Scott. And so we had that, and then we were like, let's go to Owen's house and, you know, jam. <laughs> started to jam. Owen went upstairs to write a paper. He's a clinical psychologist now. But we just started picking up instruments and just jamming. I say, I like to say that the band started by spontaneous combustion because nobody ever said, hey, you know, you play keyboard, you can sing, hey, you play bass, let's start a band. It just, poof, flaming volcano. Poof, the band started. So that set the agenda or the template for how we wrote ever since, because we jammed together. Most of our songs are jamming, and then we sort of collage the parts together, and, and that's why it's so unique. So anyway, we eventually all quit the jobs, and we just had to hang tight and hope we'd make some money which we eventually did. <laughs> and another gold record. When we first started, and we went up to New York, and Debbie, Harry, and Chris Stein invited us to their apartment. 
and we saw all these gold records they had just leaning against the wall. You know, this was early days. They already had gold records, but, um, you know, they were just sitting like that. So, but one day, I'm going to have them on a wall, actually. There are bands that just can't be together, and we still laugh together, you know, we still hang out together. Believe it or not, we still even like might go to dinner together and hang out and hang out after the show. When it's somebody's birthday, we always have a cake, and there's still camaraderie, you know, which makes us think that maybe we can write a couple more songs, but that's challenging because we haven't written together in a long time. So that's a little scary. You know, you always think, can it still work? Can it still work? Thank you.